bars. Now let's look at, at uh, a little bit about the structure of this phage. Now the phage structure is an icosahedron, and it is not having any kind of tail or something. I don't, uh, I don't think that it is having. It is not having any kind of tail because we have already talked about T7 phage. We have already talked about M13 phage, which is completely different. We have talked about T7 as well as lambda, which are having a similar kind of structure because they are having a kind of tail, a collar, and and a head. But in case of uh, the M13 phage, we have seen that is completely different. It's kind of spiral or helical. But in case of this X, uh, phi X174, we are going to see it's simply a smaller icosahedron head inside which it carries a single stranded DNA as its genetic material. Now, as we are talking about uh, this uh, icosahedral head, it means it, it is having three fold of different symmetry. So, three types of symmetry. One is five fold symmetry. As you can see, this is a point where five things are coming out. So five spokes. So this is a five fold of symmetry. This one, this one, if you look at from this angle, from this direction, you are going to see it. From this direction, this is also five fold of symmetry, five fold of symmetry from this point. From this point, also five fold of symmetry, symmetry, five fold symmetry, five fold symmetry. Then we are having three fold symmetry, which we can see here. This triangular shape, this is a three fold symmetry in all this case. So many three fold symmetries, very few five fold symmetries. And then many more two-fold symmetries. So two-fold symmetries means simply this straight line is the two-fold symmetry. So we are going to see that five-fold, three-fold, and two-fold. Now, as we are going towards uh, two-fold of symmetry, the number of uh, organization is increasing. That's what we can see here. Okay. Now, 60 molecules of major coat protein, and it is called F protein, which are called the major coat proteins or F. These proteins form the capsid. Okay, and capsid is usually having the diameter of 25 to 27 nanometer. Now, five molecules of G protein and one molecule of H protein form spikes at each vertex. So you can see, majorly it is made up with protein F as the major structural coat protein, except for that it requires protein G and protein H and very few amount to construct what we call as a spike. So these are the spikes which are coming out, which will help this phase to be attached with uh, the host cell membrane receptors and then to be engulfed inside, right? Because that's the actual first goal for any kind of virus or bacteriophage to enter inside the host, right? Now, the protein J binds to the phage genome for condensation of DNA during packaging. So protein J is only required when the DNA is being packaged and the DNA needs to be condensed. Because as you can see in this picture, the DNA is not a straight kind. It's kind of wavy like that. So as it is making it wavy, we are creating a, a, a compactness inside the DNA. Because inside this phage, which is having a diameter of only 25 to 27 nanometer, it's a very small phage. Inside this phage, holding this large amount of DNA is kind of different, difficult. So for minimizing that, what we need to do, we need to uh, compact the DNA a little bit. So we are doing the compactness of DNA here. 